but then I'm scoring that perfect hat trick against him. <laughs> as right he would. Yeah, yeah. Right, right he would. As, as I did, I ignored him. So we ended up winning 3 2, and I said, Right, what? Do you want to talk to me now? <laughs> to say Jerry Jerry got the best out of me not just Jerry but the team mm-hmm. and the players I played with as well because I, <clears throat> if I felt that I was going to take advantage of it, I mean once Adam McDonald gripped me and he said listen you're taking my bonus money out of my pocket <laughs> and stuff like that and you had to be you know you had to man up and you had to be a good player because if you weren't you weren't going to survive in that team yeah 100% you know uh, really thankful for bless him Trevor Trevor signed me he made a big break in the in the big league and we had Don Don came in and Dom was a, I thought was a really good coach like you I think everyone at the time their careers really took off when Jerry came I'd have to say just on his ability and his, the goals he scored I'd have to say Les you know there'd be Ray Wilkins as well there's Clive Wilson yeah well great training Clive Wilson, yeah, not for Dave me. Barnsley yeah Dave Barnsley for me Trevor Sinclair scored the best goal ever against Barnsley out there yeah the overhead kick overhead kick and that side but yeah we had had a lot of good players but if we had to pick one it'd have to be less I'd go with the late the great Ray Wilkins one as a as a man as a bloke and I think you'll probably back me up that you know when he came he's got 80 odd caps for England he's played all around the world but Ray from that day first of all the way he played but the way he was as a person as a man yeah had time for everyone and when I made my England debut you know it was not long into the game and he you rang my wife during the game he said I don't know if you're watching the game the game started and he started well I just thought you know what a what a lovely touch I'm I'm playing over in Poland but he's taking the time out to ring my wife and yeah. just sort of reassure her yeah but, but he was I think he was a massive influence on all our careers wasn't he oh definitely well just just what his professionalism was you walk through the gates at a training ground and you say to everyone else do what i do yeah did and he was just just a great man i always remember the game the only game where we won at highbury we beat them three two yeah walking up the marble steps and what could hear was he a right my hero I said dad i'm scoring that perfect hat trick <laughs> against you that's right he would yeah, yeah. Right, right he would as i did i ignored him so we in the change room got changed came onto the pitch doing the warm-up and he's in my air roll again and stuff like that. Ignored him. So the game started. So Clive was playing left back that day. And he said, Dan, you're doing a great job. Just just keep him quiet. So we ended up winning 3-2. And I said, right, what? Do you want to talk to me now? <laughs> well, well, uh, he's uh, effing and blinding at me. And that, but yeah, I always remember that game. And that, okay. Because like I said, that was the only, the only game we've ever won at, um, at Highbury. So many, so many brilliant memories. I don't know about you, but I used to, this stadium, I used to love playing here. When it's... When it's packed, when they're right behind you, the team's playing well under the lights. That used to be my favourite. Yeah. Would you say that? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, because like, the stadium's so close, and when it's when it's packed, they get behind you as well. When you're yep. playing, when you're playing well, and we had so many like yourself, flair players, and we always had opportunities of scoring goals. And if it didn't go in, you, the crowd would always get behind you, and that's yep. yeah. Oh, great time for you, and it was great times for me. Yeah, as I say, I used to love playing it. Um, Played in bigger stadiums, played in front of more fans, but this one, 20,000 there when they're right behind you. Nothing better. Thoughts? Yeah, I, I like it. I like just around here. That's that's different, you know, without the, without the collar. Different shades of yeah. blue in the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the hoops, which, but you know, the, the blue and white hoops are iconic, aren't they? But again, whether it's this new one, these ones here, I think I speak for... I certainly speak for myself, but you and everyone that we played with, we were really proud to pull on that shirt, weren't we? Definitely. Really proud to pull on the, the QP on yeah. it and you know, wore it with pride. Obviously, we had bad games, we had defeats. We, I think the majority of the time we've pulled that shirt on and we, we wanted it so bad, didn't we? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Exactly.